is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony and today we are in the new 2020 nissan versa completely redesigned courtesy of apple nissan in york pa and i am excited for this one as i said it has been completely redesigned for 2020 this car actually starts at under fifteen thousand dollars that is a heck of a bargain with better looks for 2020. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. So as you may expect, there will be several different trim levels for the 2020 Versa. First one being the S manual starting at $14,730. Then you have the S CVT for $16,400. SV with the CVT starting at $17,640. And lastly, the SR paired up with the CVT. That is the one we have today. That one is going to start at $18,000 thousand two hundred and forty dollars and so regardless of trim level power plan on the 2020 versa will be the same powering this little beast is going to be a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated inline four-cylinder engine putting out 122 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 114 pound-feet of torque available at 4400 rpm and that power is going to be sent to the front wheels through two transmission options one of them being a five-speed manual the other being a continuously variable transmission or CVT and when you put all of that together MPG numbers come in at 27 city 35 highway for the manual 32 city 40 highway for the CVT either way taking regular unleaded fuel or 87 octanes that's going to save you a little bit of money there too but but so now since I've gotten all those specs out of the way what do you say let's go ahead and do a quick little acceleration in the 2020 Versa and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed here we go It's not the quickest thing in the world, I do want to admit that, but I would not imagine you would have any issues with merging onto the highway, but still it's just over 100 horsepower. Don't expect too incredibly much of an acceleration on the Versa, so if you wanted a better acceleration, go with the 370Z. Anywho, to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. Up front you will find 10 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 8 inch rear drum brakes, so the first question everyone is wondering right now is how is the braking with rear drum brakes? A lot of subcompact cars and compact packed cars will come with four wheel disc brakes but to be honest the braking is really all that bad i will say four wheel disc brakes is going to give you a little bit better stopping power but honestly in my short test drive today i haven't had any issues bringing the versa to a stop it is a lighter car to start with so for that reason you probably don't even need four wheel disc brakes on this thing then touching on suspension and handling a little bit up front you will find an independent strut front suspension in the back a torsen beam rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars as far as the ride quality goes it is pretty much as expected for its class so no issues there for me steering feel is also pretty much as expected i would even say it's quite a nimble car i actually do like the steering feel it is a little bit heavier of a weight kind of feels like a go-kart it does have a flat bottom steering wheel too and i always like flat bottoms but i'll get a little bit more into that later in the video cabin noise is perhaps eh, maybe that's one thing that can be approved upon a little bit with the versa but still it's not going to annoy you or anything like that so but we'll see you do have some exterior noise coming into the cabin but it's not all that bad visibility is absolutely amazing though <laughs> Of course with it being a smaller car and four doors not going to have any issues there so well done nissan for that but as you know i have mentioned the exterior redesign at the beginning of the video let's now go ahead and take a look at the outside of this new 2020 nissan versa all right you guys and so here it is if you compare this new 2020 redesign to the 2019 nissan versa you will agree with me i guarantee you this thing looks so much better than the previous generation which is awesome considering the price point so let me give you a little bit of specs here on the new design it is 2.3 inches lower than the previous generation 1.8 inches wider and 1.6 inches longer so when you put all of that together it is inevitable you will get a better looking car out of that so once again the nissan versa without a doubt looks like it belongs in the nissan lineup especially with the front grille and the floating roof line towards the back but we'll get into that in a second so up front you will find that nissan signature front grille and so when it comes to that chrome around that Nissan logo there will be just standard chrome if you go with the S or SV trim levels however if you went with the SR that you were looking at right now you will find a dark chrome so a little more aggressive appearance when it comes to that to the sides halogen headlights will come standard with the S and SV 
They will, of course, also come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out, they're gonna turn on automatically for you there, so you don't have to worry about that. LED headlights with LED daytime running lights will come with the SR. That is what you are looking at right now. That is crazy considering the price point. They look absolutely amazing. And of course, fog lights found just below for the SR trim level as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the side. Like I was saying, first thing I wanted to mention to you guys, let me zoom out a little bit here. Floating roof line, just like the Nissan Maxima, just like the Nissan Altima. That's what I was saying previously. The Versa actually does look like it belongs in Nissan's lineup once again. So that is a good thing. When it comes to their side mirrors, they will be black side mirrors for the S and SR trim level. SR giving you more of a gloss black. So it definitely does look good there. Body colored side mirrors are gonna come with the SV and there will be power side mirrors for every single trim level. And they will be heated with integrated turd signals that you were looking at right now for the SV and the SR trim levels in case you were curious. But now zooming out a little bit, one of the things that we have to mention since this is a budget car, you will find black door handles with the S trim level. There will come body colored door handles for the SV and SR. Then taking a look down to the wheel setup, 15 inch steel wheels with covers for the S trim level, 16 inch aluminum alloy wheels for the SV, and you will find 17 inch double five spoke aluminum alloy wheels if you went with the SR, of course, that you were looking at right now. So they actually look really good in my opinion but let's go ahead and make our way to the back shark fin antenna found up top there body colored rear spoiler is actually just strictly going to come with the sr trim level so actually a nice little added touch back there it looks pretty good in my opinion also touching on that redesign a little bit there is a nice design to the taillights i will say however they are not led taillights but still like i was saying they definitely look good though so that's nice and you guys can see those rear parking sensors also located in the rear bumper i'll touch a little bit more on that when i get to safety but just below all of it it. rear diffuser believe it or not will come standard for every single trim level so that is a nice aesthetic touch in my book and actually if you look closely just above that rear diffuser although it's plastic it does kind of have a uh, a carbon fiber ish look to it so that's kind of cool too but anywho just below all of that you guys know what we have to do next there is a single exhaust outlet so here it is here is the exhaust clip for the 2020 Nissan Versa So now since we are around back, first I want to mention to open that rear trunk, there actually is a button on the key fob. So that is simply how I'm going to unlock that there. Once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 14.7 cubic feet for the S and 15 cubic feet for the SV and SR. It is going to differ ever so slightly between those trim levels there. If that was not enough space, however, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down. If you were to go with the CVT transmission, if you go with that five-speed manual, that is not going to be there for you, interestingly. But with the CVT, you can fold those rear seats down for a good bit of extra space there if you needed it. Make your way to the rear legroom then. Rear legroom is actually going to come in at 31 inches, even for reference. I mean, even six feet tall, this is how much space I had back there. It is a little bit of a tight fit, but the kind of cool thing is the back part of the front seats there, it does have a little bit of give to it. So if you're a little bit taller, your knees can kind of push into that front seat a little bit. So it does make it kind of comfortable for that reason. Another thing though I wanted to mention for those rear passengers is, is that carbon fiber trim right around the power window buttons once again. And that does continue into the front as well, but it is a nice little accent for those rear passengers. But no rear ventilation back there. Don't need it, honestly. It's a small enough car. You're not going to need that. No rear armrest either but now let's make our way to the front seats cloth seating is going to come standard for all trim levels that is of course what you were looking at right now there will be six-way manually adjustable driver seat for all trim levels and a four-way manually adjustable passenger seat for all trim levels heated front seats are actually going to be optional on the sr trim level we do happen to have them today so if you ended up going that route those heated seat buttons are located just in front of the shifter around the climate control information up front there but that'll definitely come in handy for the super cold days and Pennsylvania but looking forward here's one of my favorite parts tilt and telescoping steering wheel for all trim levels leather wrapped for the SR and it is a very high quality leather it feels like but it does have a flat bottom as well and perhaps that is my favorite part 
But let's go ahead and make our way to the startup here. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. All of your buttons are actually gonna be located on one side of the key, Nissan logo at the very top. Lock, unlock the button to pop the rear hatch. But actually, there is a remote start, that little circular button just below the Nissan logo there. That is your remote start, which comes standard on the SR trim level only, therefore the one we have today. So if you were to press that, you could start up the car on a super cold day. It'll help warm it up before we actually get inside. So that's always a plus, but Either way, as far as the push button start goes, that is actually gonna come standard on every single trim level of the Versa. Even the S trim level that starts at under 15,000, you got a push button start. And that button is located just in front of the shifter, so all I am going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And so, but once started up, yet another awesome feature of the new Versa, there is a partial digital display, partial because the speedometer on the right is not, but everything else on the left side is a full digital display so you got your tachometer how many miles you have left until you hit empty and there's actually a good bit of stuff you could scroll through by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the left side giving you things like your audio information your miles per gallon at any given time there's a digital speedometer you could display over there if you wanted to some safety features and honestly quite a bit so very impressed with the gauges here on this 2020 Nissan Versa but continuing on to overall interior quality again that matte carbon fiber look probably my favorite part of this one that's going to be found everywhere chrome interior door handles are going to be found with the sv and sr trim levels they definitely look very good very high end as well and there's a black piano finish i guess you could say around some of the air vents as well as just around the shifter there just in front of the shifter you have a small cubby area along with the usb charging port auxiliary port and 12 volt power outlet there just behind the shifter there's a very shallow cubby area as well as two cup holders and actually behind the cup holders you have two more usb charging ports so if you had some rear passengers they could probably hook their cable up to those right there and that would work for them as well or the front passenger whoever but that is pretty cool that they are there and i do like all of the orange accents as well there's some nice orange stitching just above the passenger side glove box here and it does feel like a leather finish around that stitching as well which actually continues right around the infotainment screen here and speaking of when it comes to that infotainment screen there is a seven inch color touch screen display display for every single trim level along with Bluetooth and audio streaming for all trims. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay will come standard for SV and SR trim levels, but not the S, unfortunately. But Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is pretty cool because that gives you free navigation through your smartphone. So all you need to do is hook your smartphone up to the Versa. That is going to give you Google Maps if you have an Android phone. But I use that every single day on my own car. I absolutely love it. You can also like and dislike your Pandora songs up there with that as well. And speaking of the sound system, of course, you can check out your radio information up there. Four speaker sound system is going to come with the S and S. SV trim levels there will be a six speaker sound system with the SR so I think you guys know what we have to do next let's turn on the radio here see what we got playing this morning and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> it's pretty much as expected six speakers is pretty standard decent amount of bass for that honestly more than enough loudness for the size of the car that the versa is but not a bad sound system there with the six speakers but so then last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the tech display at least is when you do put the 2020 versa in reverse you will find a rear view camera for every single trim level letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so to start, there are front side, inside curtain airbags, but also driver and passenger knee airbags as well. That does not come standard on most vehicles out there. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also rear child door locks back there. There's gonna be a tire pressure monitoring system. That is all pretty standard stuff, but Nissan took it a step further. For the 2020 Versa, also standard will be automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning, and rear automatic braking. Braking. That is a lot of safety features that often come as an option available with other manufacturers. But in addition to that, the SV trim level is also going to add a blind spot warning system with rear cross traffic alert. And of course, the blind spot warning system being those little car indicators in the side mirrors to prevent you from turning into somebody else. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see y'all in the next video stay gold